guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janet. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a Walmart grocery haul and I use the pickup service. So if you're interested in seeing what we got, then just keep watching. Okay, so here is a quick overview. And let's just start here. This is some chicken strips. I'm gonna remake a recipe, so I needed those. Then I just got these two things of butter. It was the cheapest, that's why. Then I got this Creole seasoning. I needed fry seasoning, and this is what came up. My youngest son is getting his wisdom teeth taken out this week, so that's what this is for. Then I got this apple, chicken apple sausage for the spicy lentil soup that I make. That's what this diced ham is for as well. I picked up these Fiber One Oats and Chocolate Chewy Bars. Um, I'm doing a WW and this is a low item, low point item. Then I picked up this Market Side Lemonade. Sprite Zero, again, for him after his surgery. I got these bacon, egg, and cheese croissants. He likes those as well. I got one case of the Diet Ginger Ale. Oh, got him some honey buns. They're on, um, I think it's a winter break. So he needs extra stuff. Okay, so I got these are the Thomas Nooks and Cranny English Muffins. This is light multigrain. So typically when I ask for these bagel thins, the plain ones, they don't have them. So I picked up this anticipating they wouldn't have the bagel thins and now I have three. So I got some light string cheese, some shredded pepper jack for a recipe that I'm making. This Fry seasoning and this go together along with that, along with these chicken tenders. So I got two things of the bagel thins, the plain ones, a bag of grapes. Um, I got these fiber one, the soft baked bars and lemon. I'll put on the screen the points because this is another WW item. And we got these chewy bars. I got the variety pack with dark chocolate chunk, peanut butter, chocolate chip, and s'mores. Just a snack item. These are the white cheddar um, rice cakes. Again, these are, I think, one point. I'll put it on the screen how many points those are. So I got, like I think, like 15 bananas because they are zero and la nope not last but i got what six of these noodles yakisobo my son likes those the last thing is a bag of ice which is downstairs but this is everything i picked up for this week i'll have the total on the screen for you don't forget to give this video a like and Subscribe to my channel. I do have a giveaway going on. Make sure you enter that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about the Walmart grocery pickup, how it works and all of that. I'm sure you may have seen like other people doing grocery hauls that they did the Walmart grocery pickup from. But I just thought I'd go ahead and explain that so you guys would know if you didn't. 
So all you do is you can go to their site or they have an app and you pick the day and time you want to pick up your groceries or they do deliver. It just costs for delivery, but when you pick up there is no cost, so that's good. Um, you go check out like you normally would and you can say no, no substitutions on all of the items, so if they're out, they're just out. Or you could say, I only want Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't want the generic. And then if, for those items, they only give you what you say. I'm sorry if that's loud. I'm cooking and I'm going to do this again. This is the blackened chicken penne, except I'm doing it with... Latini, a different kind of pasta, but yeah, it'll work. So, anyways, you can tell them you'll accept substitutions on certain items, or you'll, or you won't. Then you just check out. But if you would like ten dollars off your first order, I'll have a link down below. They'll get you ten dollars off. Um, if you do use my link, I do get ten dollars as well. Just a disclaimer so that you know, but save that money if you can. Uh, so then you will get, you can set up to get text. And if you do, about 15 minutes before your hour window to pick up, like mine today was between 2 and 3. So at like 1.45, I received a text from them telling me my order was ready for pickup. And then I go to my email because it'll show me if there's any substitutions. But today there weren't. Holy cow. Usually there's always substitutions. But not today. So that was awesome. So if there's substitutions, you'll see, you can see before you get there. And then when you get there, if you set up to allow the app, if you use it to track you, they can know when you're on your way. Or when you get there, you can just call the number on the sign and they'll bring out your stuff. They'll load it. If there's any substitutions, they go over that with you and then you just sign for your order. There you go. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to hop on here and uh, explain that in case there was somebody that didn't know. And now, hopefully I can be helpful.